Hey guys, Garage Maxed out here. Uh, one of my most watched videos is how to remove and replace keys on a ThinkPad. And one of the biggest comments I got on that video was to do it on another laptop, uh, as well as some feedback on the lighting and, and music choices. So I'm gonna try and correct some of that in this one. I just got this laptop. Uh, it was actually my mom's laptop and a cat walked across it pulled off a bunch of keys. Uh, I fixed most of them. Um, and, and generally with these key mechanisms, you can kind of see if anything's broken. And luckily on this one, nothing is broken. You can see all of the plastic scissors have been removed here. Uh, this one, the, the key cap itself was the only casualty, um, which I'll show you how to, how to put back on. Uh, but I did want to get a close up of these keys. Uh, they're, they're really similar to the ThinkPad. I mean, any of these scissor key mechanisms are very similar. You can see on this one, and I'm choosing this one because it's the most complex. Many of the keys only have these little scissor mechanisms which hold them in place. The longer keys will have what you see here, which is a metal bar. And that's just one extra step you, you gotta kind of be mindful of. So what do you need to do to uh, remove these keys? Removing the keys is very easy. Just pull up on the top side of the key and it's gonna pop it off just like that. And then replacing the key is very easy with these Dell keys. You're gonna see that the bottom of the key, so this side right here, has a little kind of shoe shape while this is a clip. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this face in, like down first, and you'll feel it, feel the bottom of the key seat down, and then you'll push. And that's all you need to do with these ones. Now, if the key is off like this, this is just where it gets a little bit tricky. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you have the scissor in hand. So I'm gonna pull this off, but I left it on just to show you guys. And the two pieces of the, uh, of the key itself should lie flat. Now you can see here in this one, you've got the little nub right there. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to make this key lie flat. And that's a flat scissor, okay? There's only one way that this will go in, which will be flat. And once you've got it, it's gonna scissor back and forth smoothly, just like that, okay? So let's zoom in here and we'll, I'll show you how to put it back onto the keyboard itself. Okay, so now you're gonna notice a few things here. One. I've got the scissor just like that. And again, you're gonna, you wanna make sure that it will lie flat like that. Uh, on these Dell keys, it will have kind of a bump on the top. And the way that this goes in here is you wanna open the scissor and the bottom piece hooks into the metal hook on the keyboard itself. And then you can press this in on one side. And what I like to do is kind of press it into one and then squeeze it over onto the other one, just like that. And you can see here that the points, the points that I've just assembled are this long strip, and then one on this metal hook, and another on this metal hook. And then what I'm left with is a scissor that freely goes up and down. And you can see on the back of this key here, we've got, uh, we've got four attachment points, um, which, coincide with the scissor. And then you've also got the spot for the metal bar. Now, what I like to do is put the metal bar about halfway down so that halfway down on this riser and then kind of put it down like that. Then we're gonna put the shift key down and you'll kind of feel where it will stop and once you've found it, you just push it down on top of it. And now that key is fully functional. And if we look at this other one, same thing, right? As soon as you get the scissor on here, you're gonna look at the bottom, you're gonna see these little uh, kind of shoe connectors and then the clips, and you wanna go shoe connectors first by putting the bottom of the key onto the keyboard like that, and then it'll clip in place. And that's it, you can, you can take all these keys off. I've done it on, on lots of keyboards. You have to take all the keys off to uh, clean it. Uh, but that's, that's really all you need to do to remove and replace these keys. Uh, and, it's, and it's really handy so you can
kind of fix laptops that people think are broken and, and maybe they're not broken because there's just something jammed under the key, you can pick it up and, and fix it. So hope this video helps. Hope it improves on some of the feedback that you guys have given me in the past. And thanks for watching.